Hickok 45 here. How you like my new ring? Isn't that a beautiful hand ornament? <laughs> Six rounds of 45 ACP. You probably know why if you read the title, don't you? You know what firearm we are going to shoot. So I hope you hang around. We're not gonna shoot it a lot. We've shot it some, but guess what? When a gun is 100 years old, when it has a birthday like that, we just have to acknowledge it, okay? I knew you would understand, all right? Now, this is a firearm, this revolver, that John really, really liked a while now. But uh, anyway, this is the model 1917. It's unloaded uh, Army revolver. You have seen it, and it's just 100 years old this year so we want to acknowledge that and, uh, and just shoot a little bit okay so i'm gonna do that <laughs> i was feeling violent today that was pretty bad i i really shouldn't shoot that poor little bug he wasn't hurting anybody i i apologize i apologize all right let's shoot some of these lipstick rounds and maybe put one of these here in my pocket and uh, smoke a little pot Let's smoke a little uh, two liter. There's another one. There's another one. <laughs> Let's try one uh, left handed. Uh, you know what? I can't get a good grip on this thing, but I'll try. Uh, uh, oh, no, I knew that was off. I didn't mean to pull the trigger yet. Uh, got another round. I'm used to my five shot uh, single actions. Go, or at least where I put five in for safety. This you can put six in, not a problem. All right, pretty cool. Uh, you know, again, it is so neat to have firearms this old. Uh, and it's one of the, the things about the hobby that I find uh, oh, enriching and enjoyable is that you can you can take an old firearm like this, a hundred years old, and I have firearms much older than that even, and they still work just as they did back then. And again, this one was used probably in World War I, World War II, maybe Korea, there's no telling where all it was used because it was made in, guess what? 1917, that's the date on it. And it is a model, 1917, uh, which, you know, again, new shooters, just because a firearm is a model, 1892 or an 1886 or whatever, it doesn't mean it was made that year. It just means that's the year, generally, not always, but that's usually the year it went into production or was designed. And it might have been made for another 30, 40, 50, 80 years. You know, like the model 1911, like this one, was made for a long time, and it's still being made. And I have it out here just because it was made. This particular one, is John's, was made in uh, uh, 1918, okay? So these two firearms might have been carried together or close together. Or by, you know, it's just, you just don't know. So... Uh, it, but it is very, very uh, interesting to have these really old firearms, uh, and they just work like they always did. Yeah, I mean they can get broken; they might need some gunsmithing. But uh, firearms tend to last a long time. It, uh, let's shoot that tree once or twice. Yeah, and another two liter. Oh, yeah, way to go. The last one died with a little flare. Let's put one on the gong if we can. Celebrate the 100 year anniversary. <laughs> that was sweet. Took its own time getting there, didn't it? And let's shoot the cowboy here. Mm. Yep, does the job. Nice. And let's just do a little uh, rapid fire. All right, stop sign. Nope, missed the last one. Uh, for you new folks, again, this is a double action revolver and you can shoot it like that, you know, just pulling the trigger, it cocks it and everything. Uh, sometimes I'll get a question like, why am I cocking the hammer? If it's a double action revolver, get the sun out of my eyes here. But uh, sometimes if you want a precision shot, even if it's a uh, double action, you need to cock it because you get a, a much shorter trigger pull, almost a hair trigger, as they say. 
and uh, that's kind of the case. So if you want a precision shot, often you need to go ahead and cock it, but it will fire, you know, just pulling the trigger, it will cock it. It also will kick harder. It will hurt you. Now, this is a mild cartridge, really, 45 out of this big gun, but there when I was shooting, it was kicking a little more. You know, it's hit my hand harder. So you get a different grip on it and all that when you're pulling the trigger to operate it. it just might be something that explains why on a 500 Magnum or the 460 Magnum we posted recently. You didn't see me out here doing a lot of double action with it. It's harder to keep it from hurting you when you do that. Okay, hurts a little more. So just a little tip there and I'm not gonna charge you any extra for that information. I should, uh, you know, I should bill some of you for that, but I won't. Oh, there's a bowling pin and there's a pot. So <laughs> good. <laughs> Love it. Mr. Cowboy. Got him in the heart. <laughs> I think it's empty. Yep. Good old gun. I'll always cherish it. I will, uh, I'll probably keep it another hundred years and then I'll bring it out. We'll do a video when it's 200 years old, I promise, okay? So make sure you watch for it and uh, you know, keep, keep our site bookmarked, all right? Uh, they may call it something else in another 100 years. It may not be Google, it might not be uh, YouTube. So that's just a nice gun. Look at the sun on that thing. To think about the people that uh, used it and carried it, uh, you know, in battle, again, World War I, World War II, maybe Korea, wherever they needed handguns, you know. And I'll link to the other two videos because I talk about why it's chambered in 45 ACP instead of 45 Colt and all that. So you can learn more about it if you just showed up here recently as one of our new subscribers and uh, learn more about this firearm. How I think the first video I had a different set of grips on it that did not fit as well, and these fit better. Uh, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to re-blue it or anything like that. Uh, another thing, an old gun like this, I get no charge for this either, but it's like a coin, an old coin. You don't want to uh, refinish it or do much to it. It, it will uh, take away from the value of it in and, and a couple of ways, you know, the monetary value. And then to me, I just like this looking like it does because it's the original finish and everything, Park. Although, let's see, I have to go back and look at my own videos. I think I, my research showed me that these were, uh, what was it? They were originally blue, I think, and then uh, before World War II, was it? They, uh, they, they, re -par they parkerized them, I think. I've forgotten now exactly, but, but it's the same finish that, uh, that I found it in, and it's, it's just fine. So, 45 ACP, model 1917. Uh, happy birthday to... Y'all are going to sing with me? Okay. Well, I won't sing the song. I'll just wish him again. Happy birthday to you, model 1917. All your nicks and little scratches. Uh, there's a screw that's kind of boogered up a little bit. But all that's fine because you're 100 years old. We expect you to show your age a little bit. Life is good. Oh, didn't realize you guys were here. You caught me doing some tactical uh, film training. I come out here in the woods all the time and uh, train on my uh, my Canon XA30. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I wanted to let you guys know about our friends over at SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. They are a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can be certified in gunsmithing or get an associate's degree in firearms technology, which sounds pretty cool. So if you're interested in that, go over to sdi.edu. Also, I want to tell you about our friends over at VaultechSafes.com. You may have seen their little pistol safes on our uh, shooting table in some of the videos. So if that looks interesting to you, go to VaultechSafes.com. And uh, you may notice we also have some steel targets that we've uh, been playing with. And those are from ShootSomeSteel.com. You can check them out at ShootSomeSteel.com. And um, what else we got? Um, there's a few other places we are on the internet, like Hickok45.com. We finally have a website. So you can go over there and kind of see everything that we've got going on over there. We also have some merchandise for sale over there. Uh, but you can find us on Facebook, Hickok45. And I have a John Hickok Facebook page. There's the real Hickok45 on Instagram. I have a John underscore Hickok45 Instagram page. Uh, did I mention full30.com? We're over there too. So basically just go to the website, hickok45.com, and you can find all the different uh, different places that 
that we're at. But you know, I've, I've really got to uh, get back to the training and, and everything. But uh, you know, I appreciate you guys hanging around after the video. But uh, I, I really need to need to train right now. So um, you know, I shouldn't even be talking to you guys. So I'll see you guys later.